hey guys welcome back to my channel so excited that you guys can make it if you're new here welcome if you're not welcome back thank you guys for always showing up for me on my channel really do appreciate it uh today guys we have an exciting video because it's a video that i didn't do in a long time because i just don't know when your business changes certain aspect of the budget of the business that does change as well but guys today i actually went well a couple of days ago i actually went thrifting with my mom she was looking for an um a dresser like a desk something that she can have her mac computer on so i just said okay i haven't been thrifting in a while let me go out thrifting you know make it a little family's trip so let me go out thrifting and you know, it was this Salvation Army that I always pass by because it's like kind of no park in there. So, like, I didn't really give it the chance that it needed. But on this particular day, we were actually about to go downtown Manhattan. But for some reason, we wind up going to this Salvation Army. And it was such a blessing going to that Salvation Army, honestly, because um, I met some great people there. And I met the owner. And the owner was so nice, guys. Um, The name of the Salvation Army, the well, the location of the Salvation Army is 4109 Park Avenue and this is in the Bronx New York if you guys can stop by show the owner some love she is the like one of the best owners I've ever saw um, and I've been to a ton of thrift shops and I've been to a ton of Salvation Armies I actually love her shop I will show you guys in the video how organized the spot is how um, they just present themselves as very professional and I really think that you guys should definitely give them a heads up I will link her I will link her page up there, the Instagram page, where you guys can probably contact her and, um, you know, give her a follow, like her page or whatever as well. And just make sure that you guys show her some love and definitely go buy the shop and, you know, tell her I sent you. And, and also, guys, is this lovely other co-worker that she has that's really amazing that um, you guys are going to see in the video that's freaking awesome. And she's actually going to start her own business and etc. And hopefully, I told her all about Parchment so i think she's going to be coming on the part scene but if she's don't she's going to give me more information on the website that she's looking to build so at the end of the day guys make sure that you go and support people i mean that is what it's all about we love to spread the love and go and support others and just show them what our reselling community is really about the positive support and everything so um i will like to show you guys just a couple of things um that i found but it's going to be after the video guys so enjoy and i'll be back soon and welcome to the salvation army guys i am super excited to be in there all of the beautiful things i've found i am grabbing a cart i haven't been to the salvation army in a long time guys because the adjustment in my business but it was good to go back my mom was looking for furniture and who's gonna give up a good thrifting trip not me so as you guys see it is a pair of lebrons and my cart the comps are actually very good on those we'll talk about it further so two colors of the week guys was pink and white and was 50 percent off and blue was actually a dollar uh home goods section i don't know what santa claus was doing but um no santa looking for more better things I loved it. I love this red set, guys. I thought it was so cute, but it wouldn't fit in the house. And more house decor, guys. Actually, one of my favorite sections to look in. I love this vintage shoe, guys. I actually have one on my house counter. I don't know why I didn't pick that up. On to the shoes, guys. Let's see what I find. I was being super selective in this area only because guys i do not need to bring anything home if i was to bring something home it had to have been a great brand this brand was tacos i don't know if you guys know that brand but it's definitely a good brand those were super beat up though um comps was fairly decent but had to leave that behind it definitely was not worth it was not worth the pickup it would have been too much of cleaning for me to do on those and i am not looking to clean anything and I thought I found a good find. Is those Tory Birch? Um, I believe they are. Let's take that to the cart. I was so happy to find that. And for $5.99, and remember, guys, whites was 50% off. Why was I so excited? Guys, it's about to end real soon, though. You see what I'm talking about. So then I thought I was lucky, and I kept looking through the shoe section just to check out 
different scopes of the shoes and see what I could have got for a beautiful discount. And guys, this is the best thing I found. Check off a Bolo brand. Oh my goodness, Bolis. I was so excited to find this brand, guys. These particular shoes are selling for like $50 to $80 on Posh. But if you find the boots or anything in that brand, you will seriously get a good deal. This shirt right here, guys, I kept on contemplating on it back and forth. It was $12.99. It wasn't a sell color. I did put it in the cart. Comps was kind of all over the place, so I did wind up putting it back. But it can be a Bolo brand, guys. So, you know, just keep your eyes out on that. I did go through the jeans for a small little while, but it was nothing in there that was worth me picking up at the time. And I'm very selective with jeans because they do hold a big storage space in the... Uh, house so did not want to pick none of those up these lebrons i was just ramping over these i was so excited and i think that i'm actually going to keep those for a while because literally lebron's my favorite player these bellies oh my god i cannot get over that i found these guys oh my god we'll talk more in the hole i thought this this sb brand was actually a bolo brand but to my surprise and it definitely wasn't comps on it was super super low guys so it wasn't worth the pickup. I had to put that back. And at the Salvation Army, when it's red tag, they really think that it's just a very good brand. That one actually wasn't, though. So I did put that one back. Then this was a sweatsuit that I, in the middle of the summer, I picked up for me. And I was like, um, no, I don't need that. So these shorts right here, guys, was a were very cute but they were velvet and they only retail for about $39 so of course the resale value wasn't there in that case I had to leave them this is a dress that I actually did pick up for me for church guys I know you don't know why I'm telling you that it's okay um but I definitely look to get that for sure again guys back to that old sweatsuit I put it back I don't know what I was thinking to even pick that up and guys, I just want to take a moment to look at this beautiful store, how organized it is, the DVD section. We're going to the, the pocketbook section, which is super awesome. And now I'm going to introduce you to the worker. She wanted to tell you a little bit about her store. Hi, welcome to the Salvation Army. We have new things every day, so make sure you come down and visit. And today, Friday, we will be having an extra 50% off sale, so make sure you come down and shop, okay? Okay, guys. Okay, that was an impactful video. As you guys seen, the store is so, like organized everything is in the perspective area um it was just really exciting i had a, a good time chatting with the owner and a good time chatting with the the co-worker like i said the, they are very stand-up people i really enjoyed my time definitely looking to go back out there for sure i mean on father's day guys they're doing a 50 percent off sales okay guys so on this particular day <clears throat> in the salvation army the color of the week was it was white and pink and that was 50% off and then it was blue which was a dollar so if you guys is not familiar with the Salvation Army scene it's always a new color a week two colors is 50% off and one color is always 99 cent however what's different about the Park Avenue location is that the manager told me that they actually put out new items every day which is very different because other Salvation Armies that I have been to only put out new items every Monday so I was very excited to see that with this um with this new location that I've been to because that even makes you want to go even more because hey new items every day we love when they put out new items every day and then they were so nice like they let me go through all of the new racks and you know it was just it was it was a mind-blown experience you know what I'm saying and I always look to have that type of experience guys guys so in total I don't have my receipt but I personally spent was $34 and I was not planning by no means to get a lot out the Salvation Army because like I said my business did adjust a little bit to like the kind of newer tag items because you guys know like I do par shows and I, I do sell on regular parts but it still be like newer tag items like I just sell like kind of you know free people and like higher tier brands love the label or like sailor and all of the things stuff that i could get my hands on kind of but i just find that kind of new attack inventory at this state of my business does really well for me but i will not pass a good deal 
if that makes any sense in a salvation army because i do love second hand as well so with that being said guys take a quick pause if you guys are not following me on parchment go follow me bookmark my next show i will have it in the link of when i'm doing shows so you guys will not miss the crazy insane inventory and shows that i have because it is crazy guys my part show will be madhouse and again guys i just want to really thank you guys and i appreciate the scene and, and and everything that you guys do for me on is exciting and i appreciate my youtube channel as well okay guys back to so guys on this day i've been <clears throat> i've spent 34 dollars while i was just really picky in the salvation army i did find some brands that was like some heavy hitters and that i definitely didn't mind paying for but i, I got like a few things i'm gonna say like about four items one is definitely for me to keep well two i got like five items two is for me to keep and like three is just like you see why i picked it up um if the thumbnail didn't tell you i found one of the brands that i like it was a it was a bucket list brand so i'm super excited about that list like the bucket list called and i, I was like yes you got it off your list right? super excited though so without further ado um i'm not keeping you guys waiting because why why ariel why would you keep them waiting i'm not so this brand right here and i had to check comps but even with me checking comps i would have still got it because you guys know when you find a brand that's on your bolo list you're like um i mean on your bucket list you're like i need it now and i really needed this brand seriously so if you guys are not familiar definitely take out any notebook that you're next to take out your reminder set an alarm do anything that you have to do take out a notepad and write this brand down it is called Bal I want to say Bally's if I'm pronouncing it wrong oops but Bally's and it's made in Italy this brand right here alone goes for a ton of money I mean the retail value I'm actually gonna put some um comps up on this brand because i did find it inside of the store with these particular shoes but also their boots and the heavy duty coats and this brand is insane like you can if you find the, the like the higher boots or like the coastal level you can get anywhere from like three to like five hundred dollars if not more than that so definitely don't pass on this brand where this kind of looks like a kind of older style i wasn't really worried about it because i could appreciate the gold type of metallically feeling and then this is like patent leather material with like the gold type of um brims around me and then the inside was gold as well so i thought that this was super fitting and i just really appreciated it and as like i told you guys this is a really good brand to be sold out for and it was in super 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 great condition so I was so excited to find this brand and the best part about this brand guys is that literally i don't know if you guys can see it was like 12.99 but remember pink was a half off color so i got this for 6.99 oh my god only 6.99 or six dollars that is insane for this brand when i check comps on this brand it is selling for i saw a comp that sold for like 50 dollars but if i play my cards right guys i'm gonna list this for at least like 80 dollars and hoping to get about 65 i think that's a good enough range for me um especially with that brand and because we are in the seasons of like shoes and everything like that i thought that that was super fun um we can show this because i have a fetish for it and it's okay and this was actually 4.99 guys and again white was another half off color so i only paid probably like 250 for it and i was super excited about that so you're like what is this ariel what are you doing what are you doing why are we showing sheets we're showing this because i am obsessed with crochet and knitted sheets because they last so long and if you guys don't know part of my home decor is really 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 finding these sheets because i just think that they are so comfortable to sleep in they are comfy i really do appreciate the fabric the material and i like the color scheme on this cover and um yes this is definitely going in my room or guest room or something but it's going somewhere because i could not pass this up i liked it i wanted it I got what's it. next is these sneakers right here i thought that these were so so cool and guys do you know who this do you know who this brand is do you know what this basketball player is do you know do you know do you know <gasps> 
Yes, yes, yes. It's LeBron, and I could not pass up a pair of LeBron sneakers, a pair of LeBron Nikes. And it's not just because he's my favorite player. Like, no, guys. Stop right there. That's not it. It's really because not only is he my favorite player, but I know from experience of when I was a kid, my mom purchasing my LeBrons, and I know just in the resale experience that, LeBron sneakers go for a lot of money. So, of course, I was like, you know what, Ariel, you can't just get these sneakers because you like LeBron. Let's do some research. So, I pulled out comps and I went on Google Lens and I looked it up. And on eBay, they have it listed for 150 On Posh, they have it listed for $100. Um, it's selling anywhere from 80 to about $150. So, I was like, yes, please. And then these sneakers are in great freaking condition. And they are signed by LeBron, and they are fairly new. Like, you do see a more type of wear down here, but nothing, like, serious. I mean, the soles are in great condition. I almost wonder why they, they give it up. Did they grow out of it? Could they have not fit it? I don't really know. And these are the other ones, like, because I'm really trying to see why, what happened. But either way, very, very good sneakers, guys. And for the most part... I only paid about $10 on here, and it was pretty good because it was worth it, especially if I could get at least $100 off of those. So I was very excited about those, that find right there. The final find that I found was these vents, leather, what you call it, loafers, loafers or whatever the case is, but I was like, oh my God. I found some vent I found some vent shoes and I actually like vent shoes more than the clothing. I just feel like it does well. But for the leather material that's on here, it's actually in great condition. Absolutely like no flaws. Of course, over here need a little like brushing up, but that's nothing to do. And then the best part about these, they were like in days of US 10. So I thought that that was super fitting, guys. And then there's not really no wear down here, pretty much. It looks practically new, but the price was only $4.99. So I was super excited about that here's the other one again like really no wear on here guys i was super excited about picking these up and again guys like seriously that is really all i got so that was like 34 dollars right there but as you can see like i was very 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 selective with the things that i was picking up. so guys if you can please do me a favor go on instagram right now and stop what you're doing go in like the profile to link to the manager if you're ever in the new york area make sure that you stop by this salvation army they are lovely people guys and it will make my day and it will definitely make their day because you're helping another small business as well we know that ever since the pandemic happened a lot has changed a lot of people don't really go in stores no more so this will really help out the community and us as resellers we love to shop so go and check them out guys guys thank you for coming to my channel again thank you for looking at all of my videos i really appreciate you guys and guys another short one but i am out bye guys